All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And I believe you've been having a great time. You know, we've been giving you back to back to back from our top stories, newspaper segments, to the first and uh, interesting interviews we've gotten to Football Republic. And uh, to right now, we're going to be talking to someone very exceptional also. Uh, she's an artist, a musician, a very, very talented uh, Nigerian musician who has uh, really made a mark in the international space, being named a uh, Welsh A-list artist by the BBC. That's a lot of accolades under her belt. I'm talking, uh, we're going to be talking to Ife it will be in a short moment and uh, trust me it's going to be a very very interesting interview for someone who has achieved so much and uh, in so much in so little time being so much uh, uh, accepted in her in a, and respected in the music space and for those of you who don't know, she's also um, related to uh, the Nigerian football player, Alex Wobi, who plays for Everton. And she's here today talking to us about her music and her career at large. So we're going to be having this interesting conversation with Ify. Hello, Ify. How are you today? Hello. It's lovely to see you. Thank you so much for having me. It's great I'm to have you great. on the show this morning. How, how, how are you feeling? We know that there's a pandemic going on, uh, the coronavirus and everything, but how are you feeling really? Honestly, how are you? Well, the pandemic, you know, it can have an effect. Maybe you can feel down and things like that due to um, the, the mass destruction it has had on mm. people around the world. So many people have died. You know, yeah. um, and so much loss has happened. It's, it's just a very, very saddening situation and so upsetting. But wow. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. Mm. And um, I feel that if you believe in him, you're not on your own. And you can uh, look to him and trust him. And he will give you that source of comfort, even though it is very very difficult situation. I like that. It's good that, like, yeah, to just put in a nutshell, there's always a uh, hope at the end of the tunnel. There's a bright light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you very much yeah. for giving us your honest uh, opinion about this situation. So, uh, we're going to be playing your, your video so that people can get to see what Ify is all about before we jump into the conversation real quick. So, let's check this out, guys. Hey, guys, it's me, Ify Wobi. I'm so happy to be playing for you this lockdown period. This is one of my original pieces called Solace. Hope you enjoy. Find peace where you're at. Let's go. God. Uh, well, how would, how would I say? Let me just say that that's an exceptional uh, video there. We saw you playing the piano, and you did it so well, so well. So, wow, um, thank you so it's, it's, it's quite interesting that you could uh, play the piano that well. How long have you been playing the piano, if we start from there? Yes. So my story of playing the piano, I started even when I was a little child, okay. um, tinkering from 18 months old. Uh, tinkering on pianos and just experimenting with ideas at 18 months. From They knew from there at an early age that I had an affinity with pianos. Hmm. So um, from around six years old, which is around the typical age where you can learn an instrument, I started having piano lessons 
and I'm 26 now, so 20 years I've been playing. Hmm. Interesting. So, uh, is it that uh, because you were going, you wanted, you knew you were going to get into music, you decided to take uh, the piano lessons seriously, or is it that okay, uh, somewhere along the line, you realize that okay, I can actually sing while I p play the piano? How did that come about? Well, I feel that like my voice comes through the keys. I, I'm actually a pianist, composer, songwriter. Okay. So I, I make the music behind um, the vocals and things like that, the oh. the, the the tune, everything of that is just my idea. So I don't think, but I feel that my voice comes through in the composition, the arrangement of instruments. And mm. uh, yes, which takes hours and hours sometimes. Yes, to do. It, it will definitely take long to put that together. So, so for someone, mm -hmm. uh, for a musician like yourself, I would say yes. you play the instruments, then you write the vocals. Is that how it works for you? Or you write the vocals before you play the instruments? Well, um, usually I have the tune in my head. So that's okay. the tune that the vocals is going to sing. Then I arrange the accompaniment on the piano um, from there. Uh, you know, just experimenting with the ideas. And um, then we go to the studio and I have to, before that, I have to write the instruments, what they're going to play on mm -hmm. paper, and then go to the studio, lay it down so that it sounds nice, it sounds all um, correct. Mm -hmm. And yes, then I contact the singer when the backing is in place. Interesting. So has there been any point knowing the fact that, okay, you know how to play the instruments and you, are, you know what you want uh, regarding the sound, uh, what does it should sound like. Have you ever been any point where you went into the studio and the producer is trying to give you something else to what you probably have in your head? Has there been any clash like that any time? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so interesting that you brought that up because everyone is, have their own musical ideas. Yes. They're their own artists and they have their own interpretations of how the music is going to sound. Yeah. So yes, I am open to whatever the producer has in store mm -hmm. to create the piece and make the piece maybe enhance it and better. But I do stick to my ideas, but, um, you know, and well, um, kind of, I have the idea in my head mm -hmm. that is very, it's hard to move from it, I guess, but I am open to other enhancements. Hmm. Interesting. Now, let's talk about uh, you being named one of the A-list artists in Wales by the BBC. When you heard about that, how did you feel? Were you expecting that to happen? Oh, my gosh. It was a total shock, right? <laughs> because I, Afrobeat music, I had never, or more than Afrobeat music, I had never really tapped into before. I'd never explored the genre, never written any music like that. I mm -hmm. have all these ideas in my head of uh, or you know, typical other genres like jazz and uh, rock. But yeah. Afrobeat was fascinating. I wanted to tap into my Nigerian heritage and African culture. Um, so it was fascinating to just kind of explore that and mm. make the tune for it. And to be a Welsh A-list is such an honour. It, it, it's very competitive to get on that spot. There are yeah. tons of musicians fighting for that spot, for their music to be heard. So I, I was so shocked and surprised and honored that you, they would even think of me. Interesting. So now let's talk about the acceptance of uh, the kind of music you do uh, out there. Do people really connect? Do they really understand the way you, you make your music? Are your fans really, really, you know, uh, can, do they really connect with the way you make your music? And other people generally at large, how is the acceptance for your, uh, for your kind of music? Very good question. Um, yes, there's been a lot of good response to my music. Mm -hmm. Illuminate, my first album that I created, we put a lot of kind of funds into that and money and, well, I, I put all my heart and soul into it as well. So every yeah. music that I want to create, I want it to stay in the hearts and minds of listeners. I want them to remember it as something different, you know, something that they can resonate with, something that touches their lives um, in, a, in a different way. You know, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so in terms of accepting it, I, I have a good fan base, but okay. I want to reach more people, you know, yeah. I want um, other kind of audiences to accept my music. I write in a 
I, I guess it's for some people, I, I write in a variety of styles, and some people will ask, what is your style? Yeah. You know? um, but I feel I've really resonated with the Afrobeat and R&B genre that I have started writing. Mm -hmm. it, I've got an upcoming EP out called Boss In It. Okay. And Thinking About You, which is the track that I uh, um, composed with Jimmy Abdo, that track is going to be on the EP. On so expect absolutely expect R and B, expect hip hop, which I'm really enjoying at the moment. Amazing. So there's the, 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 there's a song uh, titled "Walk Beside Me," right? You have a song titled yeah. "Walk Beside Me," and you featured someone on that track. Now, uh, we'll, before we play it, we'd like to know how you came about that song and how you selected who you you featured on the song before we get to play the video for them to see. Okay. No, no, so, so, so go ahead. How, how did you come about the song? Uh, what oh, led, yeah, we're going to do that oh, before we play it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, uh, it's okay. all right. So it's all right. Walk Beside Me. Mm -hmm. um, in my experience, I did go through difficulties mm -hmm. and I did go through challenges that affected me when I was younger. For example, in school, I went through bullying because okay. many um, were jealous of the music talent. They didn't want me to succeed. I was... It, I was in a private school, and I was the only black child in the school. Wow. So they weren't used to diversity, you see. Hmm. So um, I felt very secluded, very on my own in school. And that experience carried and stayed with me for a long time. Hmm. So walk beside me, I found uh, solace. I found um, peace with my family and God. Mm -hmm. And I felt that I wasn't on my own, you see. And I, um, I talked to lots of people and I did receive help because um, I had a lot of challenges growing up in mm -hmm. life. I had to go seek counselling and things like that for the bullying. But um, yeah, uh, through music, I was able to express myself. And it, what beside me is about that, that the times where... It, there can be difficult times that you go through, but yeah. talk to someone and you can find peace. Try praying, yeah. you know, try something new. Don't yeah. give up. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at Walk Beside Me. And uh, when we come back, we just wrap this up here on the show. Let's take a look. This is Walk Beside Me by uh, Ify Wobi. Let's check it out. 